Lucius, can I ask you a question? Oh, never mind. I'm just being foolish. If you want that bicycle for Christmas, you need to start doing chores around the house. Take the garbage out, for instance. Son of a... Where did this rock come from? I bet I can fix this. I went weeks without a proper night's sleep. I just couldn't wrap my head around everything as if something was evading me. I resorted to the church for help. My hope was that they could visit the house and maybe help some of the people there, offer counsel, whatever it is priests do. I was wrong. Predictably, there was another accident, this time in the garden. One of the most bizarre things I had ever seen. I had no solid explanations, and the press were hounding the department for information. Those vultures were constantly circling the mansion. Everything in my world was falling apart. I was interviewing Charles Wagner on a daily basis now. He tried to tell me this was in a totally different realm. His father, Fabius, who I thought was a little batty, had gone missing by this stage. Everyone presumed he just took off to escape the stress. What's really going on, Dad? Have we been cursed? Do we have enemies? Are we being extorted? Or is this some sort of vendetta? Don't talk such rubbish, Charles. You're grabbing at straws. I know enough about your past mob ties. I know how we got our money. You don't know shit. And don't ask. Just be thankful for what I've given you. Have you no feelings, Dad? 
Why didn't you come to Tom's funeral? He was a wastrel, and he died a wastrel's death. He was no son of mine. That's cold by any stretch. You're a heartless, bitter old man. Who's given you everything you could have ever possibly wanted, and now it's time for payback. There are events afoot which are far beyond anything you would understand. I'm gonna lose this election. My world is falling apart. Lucius won't speak. Nancy is losing her mind, and you're crazy too! We're all just pawns in the larger scheme of things. These people, they're just fodder for death's eventual scythe. You only need to play your role, Charles, and be a good boy. There are rewards for those who endure to the end. Good afternoon, miss. I'm Father Lagel of the Winter Hill Diocese, and this is Father de Cosimo. We've heard of the unfortunate tribulations that have befallen this house, and we've come to offer a blessing for better days for this place. Would the master or mistress be home? Who behold? is that? What? Get the hell out of my house, bloody parasites! Take your skirts back to the poor mix in town. They'll swallow your Jesus crap. But get off my lawn, or I'll give you a reason to pray for your Easter bunnies. Peddling their tripe here on my property. Make sure they're let out those gates. Who are you? What are you doing here? Ah, ah, you surprised me. I'm Wayne Preston from the Herald. I'd like a word with you about recent events here at Dante Manor. I'm willing to pay handsomely for information. Don't you know who I am? Oh, Mr. Wagner, I'm so sorry. I tried the doorbell, but there was no answer. It looked like it would rain, so I simply- You're trespassing. I could have you shot. Hey, wait now! What wonderfully gruesome offerings you have given to me. Now we must go on a march. 
we must continue with no looking back. There are those sniffing about, Lucius. They suspect. You must be on your guard. But now, it is time to teach you the greater skills, so that you can protect yourself if the need arises. Do you like to light fires, Lucius? Your daddy tells you not to play with matches, but I can show you a better way. Oh, that's very good. What a Now listen to me, Lucius. This skill can only be used sometimes, and in the most extreme situations. Each time you make a sacrifice, you can attain this skill, but only for a short time, until the power dissipates. 